Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary Iron Man playthrough of uh, Long War of the Chosen. I want to uh, give Operation Unceasing Thorn a try. Sky Ranger has reached uh, the mission site and we're defending against uh, what I think is going to be the um, assassin uh, that attacks us. But we're going to see who actually is going to attack us. Um, if push comes to shove, we might be losing a bit of resistance personnel, but uh, these missions are always great in order to get ability points as well as a couple of corpses. So um, join me today when we're going to defend once again. Okay, so our intelligence gathering in here in this region have uh, finally brought the Chosen. We need to be um, protecting our data tab and neutralizing all of the enemies. Which you can already see plenty are incoming. That's a pretty massive pack. Uh, okay, lovely. Oh, lovely. These are the rescuing forces <laughs> and uh, these are the poor schmucks that are standing in the middle. Trying their dearest not to immediately get murdered. Uh, we do have... what is that buff? Well, he does have a flashbang. That's what counts. Flash out. All right, I'll go. Mm, potentially not uh, good enough. For now, what we can do is we could uh, put some smoke down. Somehow, this unfortunately prevents proper uh, smoking. Okay. We're being flanked, but at least there's uh, then smoke down. Can't completely prevent uh, flanking from happening here, unfortunately. But we can keep these guys busy whilst the cavalry is on the way. Finally. Moves over here. Deal as much damage as possible. That's a start. On the move. Moves to here. And we're just creating a defensive parameter. Oh, light him up as an ability. Unfortunately, you don't have the shotgun or the heavy guns. You just have uh, the smallest guns. I guess that'll be okay. Yeah, let's hope it's going to be okay. Catch. You hit three with a uh, grenade, might even kill one. Ah, good damage, but barely not uh, killed one. This is the Oscar Mike situation if I've ever seen one. I, I guess that'll be okay. Peter charges forward. And finds out that there is nothing in our way. Moving up. Hunk moves up. Our mechs are moving up. Peter 
Evert is moving up. Invisible Strawman moves in. And we got Jammer. So now the pain begins. Ah, uh, he's a pretty strong opponent. Primary weapon will poison enemies. Deal extra damage against low hit point uh, enemies. Good in hitting low hit point enemies. Cannot really be hit very well with Overwatch. Takes increased damage from Reapers, which we don't have. So little time. Tough cookie. must have caught wind of our operation they sent in one of the chosen we should try to track that thing down and deal with it before it causes too much trouble looks like you rolled the dice and lost this time ah uh, we need to prevent these guys from shooting okay that's good that's good right. more enemies Ooh. Disoriented plus smoke is minus 40. I'm under fire. At least they are not uh, shooting the AO. Taking fire over here. You should have pulled your people out when you had the chance. I tend to disagree. Uh, we're actually doing very well for ourselves at the moment. Everybody used the grenade, so we can't immediately use one. This here could be a kill. Nope. I'll get him next time. Decent chance to kill, but ultimately not managed to do that. Your little overwatch will not prevent me from flanking. Progressing nicely on this flank. Heading out. Moving into the fog, the smoke rather. We'll see whom we're going to attack. Slightly back. Moving ever so slightly dual back because we are injured. Take this. There's another pack over here which I just spotted. Okay, now they're flanking, and that is great. That's well, actually helping this flank a lot.
Can't fully reach them yet. Moving in. Can take out either of the berserkers for a round, which is very helpful because we just need to get into into the mix. Can get uh, stasis for the other one. Figured that that might happen. So we'll come to that in a second. This is a perfect, really perfect setup. Lightning hands. Okay, worst, worst move ever. Ah, missed one. Fire, fire. So this one is effectively taken out. We're moving towards the actual target. Never just move away, and uh, never just get distracted. I'm going to need a bigger gun. It's dead, as requested. Free explosion. Unfortunately, can't command anyone. Uh, 
Peter gets very difficult uh, to hit as he has now smoke plus uh, eight protocol plus defense so that's uh, 60 defense right there flanking unfortunately no no dice mind then let's start dealing damage good guys taken out And we're taking the other Berserk out for one round. Starting to hit the mech, because why not? The archer is a problem. Might as well try to get him down. Yep, yeah, hit your own guy. I like it. Couldn't ask for more. Damn, that thing. You better step up your game, Commander. Every shot counts. Bit of a suppression. Unfortunate. We were still in a dense smoke, but it is what it is. This guy has just taken himself out. really in a tight zone here okay back needed to take a short break so we're gonna have a problem we're attacked from all four sides well it's not great it's a really poor position to be in I would want to give up this flank here this guy's dead anyways this guy is uh, slowly but surely dying but the problem is that this is a heavy rocketeer and we can't just leave him alone which means we got to find a way to remove cover and to basically get the guy down could move to here and kill him in the meantime we could move forward and help with the berserkers Good. Let's mark this verse over here. Good amount of damage. Following up by uh, with a cyclical fire. We really need coil guns. This is our main source of damage, and he's just hitting for seven and eight. On the other hand here, magnetic shotgun. Uh, 
when it does a crit, it's not great either. But 10 points is good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, let's make this guy pay. Panicked, okay. Very good. Buys us one more round. Nah, I don't want an uh, 80% chance. I definitely want to kill the Berserker. Okay, Berserker down. Great, cool. Fabulous. This side here, there's still a mech around somewhere. A macaroni. Ah, that triggers Overwatch. Mm. Does that, uh, does... That does not... Uh, too bad. We already ended the turn. We could command action. Then we can't jam. Now we're okay. I want to keep our folks healthy and alive. Which means this year is a bit of an overkill. But yeah. At least we're staying in in the battle. So. Don't want to be flanked anymore. Solidifying our position over here. one is burning I don't I don't trust it to stay healthy this could be a little bit of damage yeah might as well take it instead of doing nothing good I'm trying to trigger the bind here position myself. This here wouldn't be too bad because it is not flankable from here. All right, Might done. be the right decision. Dangerous because we're in the open and half hit points. Catch. You're not much for subtlety. I like the high ground position here that the mech has. So I would start with uh, trying to deal damage. Doesn't work though. More enemies are coming in. One flank is finally clear, uh, but we got more enemies on the right flank now. Uh, 
Uh, not good. They're starting to shoot where it really hurts. This looks like a nice shredder through all of them. That was close. Okay, if we position ourselves here, that would give us a huge shredder gun. Four is good. Killed one. I suppose that's why the elders want you back on the tactical side, Commander. And dealt a lot of damage. That's good. Let's make sure that we take the hundred percent uh, purifier. Take him out. He's panicked. That's good. And I'll figure out what we're going to do. Got a nice kill zone that we could be doing. I think that's not a bad idea. Wow, we were in the fog. We were in the fog and it still hit us. Unbelievable. The poison, by the way, is also an absolute pain. They could flank. I need to think about how we're dealing with them. That could shred him nicely and maybe explode the car. Not sure if the car can explode, but we're going to figure out, uh, find out soon. It can. Uh, that actually was a lot of damage thanks to the double explosion. He is looking injured. We do have counter-attack, which could be another way of uh, just controlling the Archon. Could move to here, hit. And then take an aid protocol. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's the right decision. Cleaning up the side.
Okay, we're moving towards high ground here. I got another flamer, so might as well start moving over. But I need to be efficient every single round. So Archon, we could hit with a name, didn't work out, used a lot of ammo, but okay. Trying to get that mutant. Gets a lot of damage. It's overall an absolute menace. Might as well try to get it. 50 50. Okay. Giving <coughs> Hunk the ability to go in. Mind merge is great. All of the Psy abilities are absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite classes so far. I can handle that. Trying to protect uh, the device mainly. Hung could benefit from it, but I think uh, Shady could benefit more from it. Just because more enemies are over here. Taking high ground and full cover with at least we are trying. Moving to here and overwatching, which will make him the prime target. Laser, stern gun. Thinking about can we and should we approach a bit closer. This guy's taken out, will not act. Uh, they could flank here. I'm just offering this here as targets mainly because I don't want to lose the device and we're hunkering down Maintaining position. making it more difficult to hit us Despite hunker down, didn't work. Didn't think they'd die that easy, did you, Commander? Nice hit. Counter attack might kill him. Correction: the counter attack did indeed kill him, but we're losing operatives now. Kill zone worked at the end of the day. Did it work well? Not sure. Getting weaker by the moment. Better clean that wound. One wanted to get infected. Commander, we can't afford to take losses like this. The objective isn't worth the lives of our remaining troops. I'd recommend we abort while we still can. What? Time is running out, Commander. We're doing well. Don't pee your pants now.
Don't you dare to pee your pants now. Gotta work with that guy. This might trigger Overwatch. It does not. But it triggers my wrath. Moves up. Smells like fresh blood to me. Trooper goes down. Check it before you get too close. Moves to here and time to eliminate you guys. We need to crowd control. This trooper shall not flank us. Oh, he's not going to flank us. No, no, no. He's going to do the exact opposite. I hope it's worth it. Okay, so I got one. So that flank is almost, almost done. Can we shut it down? Good. That gives us another turn. Fantastic. Ready to rock. Wanted to reload anyways. Try to hit the shield bearer, no dice. Back online. Yep, that's good damage. I think next turn we can take it. here and kill the ship baron come on i know you can do better hunk there you go i believed in you and you did not let me down
Hi there. How's it going? We good? All right. Let's see if you're still good after this grenade. Talking about stupid places to hide, right? Minimum damage on the Mac, cool. We finally killed it. High ground. Dreadnought moves up there. We are too low in order to actually do something meaningful. Overwatch, um, Overwatch, hunker down here because I don't want him to get any ideas. Here needs to die. Do we have explosives? Yes, we do, but only there. Hmm. Never mind. Name doesn't work against him, but the flamer does. If we can get him into the burning range, but we can not. That's unfortunate. Let's mark him. Dreadnought is very much ready for this. One. Two. Oh, we can. Don't worry. Might as well just make him weaker. Uh, I would have wanted to burn burn you. What's over there? 
to a nice little crisp. I know how to deal a little bit more damage, so if I always hits. Good damage. I can't let that slide. Divert gets the eight protocol. And we're moving up. Overwatch here. Curiously enough, Overwatch here. And teaching him a bit of a lesson. Be more careful, that's true. Uh, I should have just killed him. We had the chance to get that, uh, that trooper down. to burn. to here continuing to hunt him how poetic the hunter becomes the hunted I need guaranteed damage, but unfortunately, guaranteed damage is currently down. It was a good fight, a difficult one. 
but good. I think we lost four out of our five. Nah, five out of six. Ouch. That'll take a while to rebuild uh, this haven. But we got ability points, which is good. Yeah, I think it was a Ferric victory. Late storm. And we're good. Alright, beta. Let's do this here. <clears throat> We do have already lightning hands. I think quick draw is another great ability. All right, untouchable, good. <coughs> More uh, critical hits aren't bad either, but I also like untouchable. It helped me uh, quite a bit. We got that and Lone Wolf with extra uh, defense. That's one damage on critical hits for every two enemies. Uh, so that's plus one to two extra damage on critical hits, right? Um, Close Combat Specialist isn't bad either if we're standing near someone. You can do a lot with it. Just continuing to be uh, meaningful and threatening when you're in. We already have defense. We do have uh, Formidable, which is also a defense uh, ability. Let's test the Close Combat Specialist. I haven't used that a whole lot. Okay, here we're definitely going to take... Uh, we already have healing on uh, one of the mechs. Uh, this time, more reaction shots. Divad got a promotion, that's good. Okay, well, yeah. I think that brings us down to three operators in this uh, region, doesn't it? Yeah. Which means you guys start recruiting, and I hope that does not trigger another attack right away. What a massive cluster F. There might be another attack uh, coming. 175, this gives us still... Well, we can't go below the baseline. Might as well do that so that the Ultramarines are ready again. Resistance personnel. Resistance personnel, a rookie. Not bad, we should uh, do that. Space Wolves, heavily wounded. Now Shady is also wounded because they are always being called in. Can't uh, do anything with those and we only got scraps left over. I mean, I could scratch together. These guys are out for a long period anyways, right? So 
<coughs> Might as well go and field the others onto this mission down here. It's not a difficult one. Good, let me figure this out. Okay, so we got a kind of a mix uh, of Space Wolves and uh, the start of Iron Hands. Might not be the best team that I've ever fielded, but it is definitely an okay team. And Dreadnought is going to help them. So all we need to do is rescue the resistance personnel and it should be fine. Five days infiltration, good. And that brings us to the absolute maximum of our capacity. As we're doing missions everywhere yet again. So this uh, tower will be our next uh, big thing. I also would want to continue just in... We don't want to infiltrate with the Blood Angels too long because number one, that's less corpses. Number two, we wanted to um, uh, to free up uh, squads, and at the moment, Blood Angels and Ultramarines both could be freed up. That would give us a huge, huge advantage, um, and we would have uh, freed up another region, so we could deploy all of these guys onto um, onto supplies. I think it's a good time to do both of the missions. I'll start uh, with a network tower and then we're going to go through the HQ assault. Uh, but that will happen in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you as always. And if you do have comments, feedback or whatever, then I would love to hear them in the comment section down below. Until then, take care and have a good one. Bye bye.